Just wanted to share an interesting story about this hat, actually. We got a random tag on Instagram. 17 items going out tomorrow morning that sold from since Friday. I didn't ship Sunday. Sunday, of course I didn't ship Sunday. I did not ship Saturday. Uh, sometimes we'll come out Friday night and pack some orders. First thing going out is a Louisville Slugger baseball glove. And that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. And that's going out priority mail to Kansas. Manhattan, Kansas. And these are, these are always easy to ship. I always just toss these right in one of these boxes here. Where'd we find that? We found that at... That might have been a Goodwill. I think that was Goodwill for $3, $4. Next thing it sold is an Imagine X Fisher Price Bigfoot Remote Control. I imagine it goes to a Bigfoot. Uh, looks like might be for a truck or some type of monster thing. That's out the door for $13.99 plus shipping going to Columbus, Ohio. And that'll be a nice easy ship right into an 8 by 8 by 8 priority box. I found that at the Goodwill Bins. I find a lot of replacement remotes at the Goodwill Bins. And that was listed since... January, so a few months. Next thing is an international order going to Sweden. It's a Lion King card game, and that sold for $24.90. And we've had that since last month in February, so that was a pretty quick sale. And that'll, even though it's going uh, international, it'll be a pretty easy ship. We'll probably just uh, wrap it up in some cardboard and maybe even just put it in an envelope and ship it out in a padded envelope. There's another Goodwill bins fine. Probably came to 40 cents or so for that. A Fisher Price light up bunny. Uh, I guess you push the belly there and it makes a noise and lights up. That's out the door for $31.49. I think we've sold some of these before, have we, hon? That bunny might be the only one of that, but it's kind of like the Snugga Monkey that we've sold before. Um, okay. There's a couple different animals. Yeah, maybe that's why I'm confusing it with is the Snugga Monkey. And that's going to Michigan. And pretty easy, another easy thing to ship. I love shipping plush. Hate finding it, hate learning about it, but I love shipping it. So Janelle picks up the other half and learns about it and finds it. Yep. We've had that since November, so had it a little while. Good to see that go. So this is a pretty cool item. We've had this for a while because we priced it really high. And I think this was actually in a haul video of ours. Um, I know our friend Roman commented on it. He was pretty excited about it. This was actually a find at a thrift store that we hit when we went to... Illinois. Oh, the, oh, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so this so, this, this, is this paid for a good our... chunk of our trip. Well, not a good chunk, but a little well, bit. Well, we had found this, and we had found a, a Lisa Frank item. Yes. So, yeah. so yeah, I, I'd say that our thrift... Well, and our store... hotel room was free because we used our hotel points. So, pay for our gas. But, yeah, that's a Chicago Bulls snapback hat. Um, vintage, of course. <laughs> and that sold for $87 plus shipping. And that's going to Hawaii actually so that'd be pretty cool <laughs> that's a pretty fun thing it probably would have sold for more if it had the button on top yes it was missing the button on top uh, as you can see right there on top so it you know hurt the value a little bit and uh, man I really don't want to mess up his name Jerico Jerico actually messaged us before he purchased it and asked if there was any other flaws in the hat and we didn't see any that we knew of other than that button, so I'm I'm hoping he's happy with that and enjoys that hat. But yeah, if with if it had that button, I think we would have gotten almost what maybe two hundred bucks, hundred fifty dollars for that hat. Just wanted to share an interesting story about this hat. Actually, we got a random tag on Instagram from this account, and I went and checked it, and it was actually the person that bought our hat. And I went on there and looked, and his account is vintage hat dot in this era. And it looks like he fixes hats up, he reshapes them, cleans them up and everything. So I, I clicked on the tag and it, he, as soon as he got it out of the package, he said that he added the button to the top, he fixed it all up, he reshaped it. He said he got it for his personal collection, so that was pretty cool. That's one of the things I love about reselling is when somebody can find something in our store that they can't find anywhere else or, you know, get a good deal, something that they're looking for and, you know, we have it. So it's always fun when we get a tag on Instagram and that showing somebody that bought one of our things and they're excited about it. So that was pretty cool. This thing here actually only sold for $4.50. But what's really cool about this is Janelle found a lot of these. So it's a quantity listing, one listing that we just put a quantity to. And we sell maybe one every two, three months, I want to say. Yeah, something like 
and we've had it listed since July, and we still have quite a few left, but a little Have It Your Way McDonald's uh, keychain. Um, oh, boy. A uh, Have It Your Way Burger King keychain. And you probably remember seeing them. I remember seeing them as a kid floating around. I kept one for myself and put it on my key ring. So, yeah, it's from the uh, 1970s. Uh, so when I saw them, they've already been around for 15 years or so, but I do remember seeing them. And that's, like I said, out the door for $4.50. Um, easy ship, first class shipping, just throw it in an envelope and away it goes. This confirms what I've always said, that we sell Halloween stuff year round. It's a King Tut Egyptian costume, and that's out the door for $32.95. Um, I'm not sure where we've, is this, did we, sometimes we'll get costumes on clearance. We haven't really done that recently, though. It hasn't really worked out for us. That might have been, well, what month was it? Was oh, it that's listed? a good question. Oh, yes. This is from August of 2021, and I think we bought a bunch of these costumes at a garage sale for like a couple bucks each. It was a pretty big uh, haul of them. You've probably seen the video of that too. So that's pretty cool. And these are always easy to ship too. You just uh, we just throw these in one of the uh, priority boxes here. The three what are they by 13 by 13, 16, 4. yeah something like that. So we sell a lot of these. Uh, some for a lot of money. Some not for a lot of money. Messages from the heart bear. Security blanket thing? I don't even know if Janelle calls them loveys sometimes. Uh, Janelle specializes in these. This only sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Uh, where'd you find that on? Is that a bins item or? Sometimes I find them at the bins. You find you find them all over. I think you mainly get them at the bins. Mostly though. the bins, sometimes garage sales, sometimes regular Goodwills, mostly the bins. They're not really worth worth it buying them from thrift stores because they might be three, five bucks for. Right, as, unless you find one of those that's worth $50 or yeah, something. But So another record listed that in January. Steven, Steve Martin, it's a comedian record. It was pretty fun listening to that, testing it. <laughs> And that's out the door for $7.15. Most, if not all of our records, unless they're worth more, uh, we list for $7.95. I'm running a sale right now on records to try to push them out. I'll probably increase the sale a little higher, being that I really didn't mark it down a whole lot there. I, I don't even remember what I marked them down at. Like, Sold some Lenny binoculars from Toy Story 2. Pretty neat little plush. I, it's got like beans in it or whatever. It's out the door for $17.99 plus shipping. First class to Kentucky. Had that since October. Uh, thrift store find on? I think it's from the bins. Goodwill bins, actually. So this is a pretty fun find, actually. I actually left work early because uh, Frankie was sick, I think, or something. Or some doctor's appointment we had to go to. And naturally, the wonderful dad I am stopped at a church sale on the way home. And I went through there quick, and then after uh, we were done doing what we had to do with the doctors, I had Janelle meet me there at the church sale quick, and I took Frankie home and had Janelle do a lap through the church sale too. But this was a, a, a Callaway golf net, and it sold for $36. And we've had that listed since October. So it took a little while to sell, naturally, because we listed it in the fall. And now here we are at the spring. Sold some Lisa Frank stickers we listed in July. Little little things that you can see there in the palm of my hand. Lisa Frank, if you've seen our previous videos, you see that Lisa Frank is interesting. It's a good thing to have in your inventory. And if priced right, it won't be in your inventory very long. So these must not have been priced right since July. But these little things, uh, we sold them for $32 plus shipping. I was surprised this sold due to the condition of the sleeve. It's a Dick Clark's uh, 20 Years of Rock and Roll record. It was a fun record to test and listen to. It had some pretty good songs on there. But that is out the door for $5. Uh, had that listed since July. So I found this at a Goodwill. It is new sealed PC Arcade Pro joystick. I think you got really excited when you found it too. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I paid seven dollars for it. I thought I saw, I thought I saw comps. I got it home and no comps. That happens a lot actually. We actually, we, you know, for video's sake, because you don't want to see the boring stuff we find, we actually find a lot of stuff that we find comps for in the store. And then when we get home, it's like not either not as good comps or we can't find them comps at all. I don't know. It's 
some magical thing on eBay or something or Goodwill stores. I don't know, <laughs> thrift stores. I mean, this thing is new sealed and it's, you know, vintage. I don't remember the year on it right now. I think right it now. plugs into your TV. You play or a computer. P and... Well, it says PC. Oh, Arcade PC. Pro. I'm sorry, yeah. But anyway, I spent $7 on it and we sold it for a whopping $15. $15.99 <laughs> plus shipping. And that's actually uh, going right next door to Niagara Falls, New York. Enjoy. You know what? I think I found this at a Niagara Falls, New York thrift store. Was it really? Yeah, because this was, I was with my mom shopping and out in her right area. Back to Niagara Falls, New York. Another record, Lady Flash. Sold for a whopping $5.61. And that is going out the door to Kentucky. And another media mail shipping. We take whatever reasonable offers we get on records. But they, I mean, I don't know if we actually go lower than $5, but if we get an offer for five, you know, maybe even four fifty, if it's a record that sits around a while, it's not really worth anything, we'll take it. Just we we're into like almost nothing on these records other than our time, so so the age old Wii Sports that everybody always sells on eBay. Uh, you always find these inside of Wii's when you pick them up. Garage sales. They they always sell. We've had this listed a while since March. And that is out the door for twenty four dollars and ninety cents plus shipping. Um, these are always Good solid buys if you can get them for a few bucks. You know you're gonna get twenty dollars for them or so. They they're popular. In fact, we even still play Wii Sports in our living room. We love it. It's good family fun. Yep, I actually found that at the Goodwill bins, and with the weight of that, not even being half a pound, probably paid ten cents for that or so. I'm not sure if we did a haul video of this. Did you show these? I don't know. Maybe one. May, maybe two dollar day Mondays. Um, at the Deal Miner Amazon bin store we always go to. And I picked a whole mess load of these up. Um, I think I did it like a couple Mondays in a row. I was finding these for $2 each. Uh, they're just little refrigerator filters. Out the door for $14.90. Uh, easy listing, easy ship. So I'll sell them all day long. So I get this stuff packed up. Out the door, ready for Monday morning. And another fun week of work reselling and the old grind. Hoping weather's warming up out here soon so we can get outside and have some fun on the weekends rather than just listening every weekend. But Thanks for hanging out with us. See ya. Oh, hi. Thanks for watching. If you like watching me, give me a thumbs up.